Hello, our friends. Alan is all about Deadpool, and Deadpool is all about Alan. And I have Free Comic Book Day, Part 4. But first... You know, I just realized in our in our vid intro video, it's where I had the wall that was <laughs> not completed. Oh, I you know what? I don't watch it that often. <laughs> That's funny. Well, hello everybody. Welcome back. This is episode number seventy-eight. So, uh, first and foremost, always got to hit up Gator Guard Comics. Please go check them out. Their link is in the description. They got a bunch of great exclusives and a bunch of great products. And they just launched. They just did a laser. They moved, they moved from cutting them. I don't know how they were cutting them before, but now they're laser cutting with a them. With a chisel. Yeah. And now they're getting a laser cut. And it actually, they're making them to fit the TMT, TMNT and Last Ronin books. So now you can get Gator Guards to fit those. I'm and guessing if you don't buy their product, they will blow up the moon with their laser. They will blow up the moon with allegedly. Their laser. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> also, we got ABX Comics and Games, my local shop, and a great friend of the channel. Paul will not threaten the moon. No, he will not. He's a he's a wonderful, wonderful man. He will always help you out. Now, right. Mars is another subject. Don't get Paul going on Mars. Yeah, I know. Mars, eh, no. We just He's check. got an axe to grind, but they know what they did. Yeah, they know it. All right. All right. I'm going to go first. You're going first. <laughs> Alan, free comic book day just won't end in this household. No, okay, apparently not, man. Apparently it was a big day for you. It was. And on that day, I bought me some Iron Jaw books. Atlas Seaboard, Neil Adams cover on issue one. Wow. Wow. Not interior. Atlas Seaboard, of course, was the, the company made out of Vengeance. Mm -hmm. Exit not to be confused with the earlier run of Atlas that became Marvel. This was the same guy, uh, Martin Goodman, but... Now, after this, after issue two, we stop with the Neil. That, this is a Neil Adams cover. Not a Neil Adams cover. Not I like Adam. Iron Jaw, though, because you know what a barbarian needs? Metal Jaw for reasons. And then there's issue four with the origin of Iron Jaw. What a great book. <laughs> and then we have Marvel Premiere issue 54. Featuring the first appearance of Caleb Hammer, Bounty Hunter. He's a Pinkerton. Pinkerton. Issue 55 with that Ron Wilson cover. Ron Wilson, 4C Comics artist. And this is issue 55 of Marvel Premiere. And then we have a Howard Shaken book. Dominic Fortune. You were just slamming those Marvel, dollar bins, weren't you? Marvel Premiere 56. And then finally, purchased on Free Comic Book Day, we've got that red coat foil five times signed. That's, that's Ghost Machine great. Whatnot exclusive on Comic Sketch Art. Well, I believe it was a Fan Expo exclusive. Yeah. Know. The red foil, red coat. We've got it signed by Brian Hitch, Jeff Johns, Francis Manipole. It's a Francis Manipole cover. The letterer signed it and uh, somebody else. It, it's got a lot of signatures. But, Alan, let's let's talk about Deadpool. Let's talk about Deadpool. All right. So we got two different eBay purchases. Right? Again, and I said that I'm all in under $10 for all these books so far, um, aside from number seven. Um First Lady Deadpool. Um, I got this single book from a guy from Canada. He gave me a really good deal. Jaws number, homage. Yep, that was number two. <clears throat> and then this one, this set I got from all one seller. He had them all and he did. I talked to him and he made me a great deal on all of them. We combined all of them. 
So we got number one, number three. Ooh. Number four, my favorite, the Scarface homage. Yeah, yeah. These these are all great movie posters. Number right? six. Mm-hmm. Number eight. And number nine. Ooh. So I need like I think five to finish the run. Not even four or five. Now, if I want to get every cover, then I need about like eight. But the thing is that number seven went into second and third printing, and they did a San Diego Comic Con version of number one, which is kind of rare. Raw. I can't imagine you're going to go for all the printings, are you? I think I am. Are you really? So you yeah, are. It's not you are all in on Merlin. Yeah, Monroe. I think it's. I don't think it's going to be like a hey, I have to get it now type of thing. It's going to be like just surfing and waiting for the right price. Targets of opportunity. Targets of opportunity. Yeah. So. Yep, that's where we're at. And we got the slabs hung up in the back. Room tour videos are coming. Now you need more slabs. I do. I am do. I have one, two, three, four that are empty. And then I have one that I have to put up yet. But uh, we have some books going out to grade and hopefully one getting graded at Heroes Con or getting submitted from. And a then single- you'll find that the real slab was inside you all along. <laughs> The real slab. Yeah, I I don't know if movies have taught me anything. It's that whatever you're looking for, you had it all along. Got it already. <laughs> all right. Well, that was a quick one today, right? That was good. Well, right? Mark will be happy. Mark will be happy, even though he doesn't he, like it when we talk to him. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. So, in honor of that, we're gonna shut up and see you wow. next week, folks. Later, everyone.